Windows Azure SQL Database Service, formerly SQL Azure, is a core part of the Windows Azure platform. SQL Database Service is a fully managed relational database based on Microsoft's SQL Server technologies and is an ideal solution for building databases for new cloud applications being developed on Windows Azure. Because it is a managed service, you don't have to set up and maintain any virtual machines or install any database software to start using SQL Database Service. Pricing is based on a pay-as-you-go model. It is a fully managed solution, so you don't have to patch, maintain, or upgrade operating systems or database systems because Windows Azure does this for you automatically. With simple self-provisioning, SQL Database Service makes it easy to build and scale your database applications to hundreds of nodes using the dynamic scalability features of SQL Database Service. This is done by using the SQL Database Federations capability, which allows you to scale out a single logical database across many nodes to meet application demand. You can also throttle the scalability directly from the Windows Azure portal. With SQL Database Service, you also gain built-in high availability with an uptime service level agreement for every database. In addition to dynamic scale and automatic high availability, once your cloud application is deployed, it can easily be extended with additional Windows Azure services, such as SQL Database Reporting for cloud-based business intelligence capabilities. The first step in using SQL Database to develop new cloud-based applications is to provision your SQL Database Server and Database. This is a simple point-and-click process within the Windows Azure Management Portal. Within seconds, your developers will be ready to start developing their database schemas. They can migrate an existing database from on-premises, or they can use SQL Server Data Tools, which is integrated within Microsoft Visual Studio, to easily build sophisticated databases complete with tables, views, and transact SQL-based stored procedures, triggers, and functions. To build the middle-tier cloud applications, your developers can choose their favorite platform, such as .NET or Java, and then use Visual Studio or Eclipse, along with the Windows Azure software development kits available for an integrated development environment. Optionally, depending on the scalability needs of the applications, developers can federate their SQL database using the SQL Database Federation feature. This can be accomplished via SQL Server Management Studio or via automated transact SQL scripts. The next step is to deploy the application. There are no deployment steps for the database since SQL Database is a managed service. To deploy the application tier, your developers can use the Windows Azure Management Portal or directly deploy the application tier from Visual Studio or Eclipse. Finally, you can manage and monitor the database using existing tools like SQL Server Management Studio and Microsoft System Center 2012 as well as a web-based SQL Database Management Portal. It's that simple! And once the application is deployed, SQL Database will take care of managing not only the infrastructure, but also the operating system and database software. Your developers never have to create a virtual machine or install and configure any database software. As new features are rolled out, existing Windows Azure SQL databases are automatically upgraded with the new features. As you continue to explore the additional videos on using Windows Azure SQL Database Service, you will learn more about the compelling scenarios it can help address for your new Windows Azure Cloud applications.